Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel, and in this video, we will see how we can execute our test in a standalone Firefox container. Again, we have seen how to run our test in in standalone Chrome container, and we also understood what is the problem with that, right? So we we could able to run uh, you know test parallelly in the Selenium uh, standalone uh, Chrome container, but the problem is if you want to do, do the testing in Firefox also, this particular thing can, will not help us, right? So, so that's why we have to rely on standalone Firefox container for this purpose. And again, in this video, we will see how we can pull this uh, standalone Firefox image, how we can start the container, and how we can run our test in the creator container. And we'll also understand about the port mapping. Again, I have explained it already. We will also see when there is a port conflict that is happening, how we can resolve that in this particular video. And we also seen uh, how to do the parallel testing and it's going to remain the same. And we'll also see what is the problem with this current approach of using standalone containers, right? So at the end, again, uh, if, you, if you do not understand what is that, it's okay, we will see uh, th that in detail. Good, now let's go to the uh, command prompt and then uh, start pulling the image. Again, you can pull the image, create it, and then start the container, or you can directly run Docker run. Again, if you notice, I, this time I don't want to use some older version or a latest tag. I will use a specific tag, okay? So I will use 85, the specific tag version uh, this time to you, uh, you know, for my testing. So Docker run. Again, this particular uh, image is also exposing 4444 to, you know, like this. So, uh, so the image looks like this, okay? Now, previously we have just one physical infra and one Docker container and the Selenium standalone Chrome is exposing 4444. And I have done a mapping from my port 4444 to container port 4444. Here also, this suppose if you notice, this is your Selenium uh, standalone and this is your Firefox standalone. You know, okay. So even this is also exposing 4444. So these are all two, consider these are all two different VMs, okay. Each exposing the same port, okay. So these are all not same, okay. These are all. This is, this is a different machine, this is a different machine. But whatever the test that I am delegating, okay, needs to be passed through different ports because the port which is 4444 is already occupied and it's already been linked to the container port 4444. So what I have to do, I have to use another port that is 4445 or you can use 4446, whatever. And then you need to map it to 4444, right? So we need to keep that in mind. Again, I'm using hyphen D uh, to run the, you know, logs in the background. I don't want the, uh, you know, want it to go to a listening mode. Okay. And then to perform the port mapping hyphen fee and then double four, four, five. This is my local port. Whatever you are writing in the left-hand side to the col colon is your local infra. And whatever I'm writing in the right-hand side is my, you know, Docker port, right? Container port. So double four, four, five colon double four, double four hyphen hyphen name this time I want to name it something uh, maybe a uh, cell Firefox something like this okay and using the image selenium standalone hyphen Firefox 85.0 okay since uh, the, the pulling takes time I already pulled the image so it, it will try to pull but it will not be there so so you know it is since it's already there Okay, it will not take much time. So for me, it didn't do, it take much time, but for you, it may take a little bit extra time. Okay, now to check whether the container is up and running, you can type Docker PS or you can also type Docker container PS. Good. In, in this case, we have done the port mapping for 44452, 4444, and it is up for you know, last 12 seconds, right? So now we have two different ports. One is 4445 and 4444, okay? Now, uh, let me go and load this particular okay, thing. So if you notice, the latest version is using a, the a standalone version of 4.0.0 beta hyphen one. By the time I am taking this video, majority of the you know uh, the world is actually using 3.14, 1.59. So that's why the UI of your uh, 4444 is little bit different from your uh, Maybe the double four, double four. Yeah, this is your double four, double four, right? This is the Selenium standalone Chrome. The UI is a little bit different. They have, because it is using 3.14, 1.59. And in the fourth version, I think they have done some update. And then that's the reason they are using this particular standalone. So the UA they have updated. The UA looks much clean than before. I think this looks fine. Okay, I think the sessions, even this is a new UA for me. So I think uh, all the things will be displayed here. Okay, let's let's wait. Okay, let's just check. So now I have two tests. One is Chrome and another one is Firefox. 
and here previously we are just doing i want to you know run this chrome test then i need to delegate to 4444 if i want to run my firefox test i need to delegate to 4445 this is your local port right so if you again want to see the diagram so this is this is my test okay i understand this is this is how this is where i have my test if i want to run it on chrome i need to delegate to to 4444 if i want to run it on firefox i need to delegate to 4445 which will be delegated to the firefox container all right so this will delegate to the selenium chrome container again guys it should be c good now let's try to run the test again i will run this in parallel so that will not take much time okay now let's also go and see how this is getting displayed here i think we should see a session right so if you notice there is a browser name firefox that's been queued okay it should should now execute and see i think it's good okay it's also telling how much duration it's taking yeah looks i think concurrency i think you can run a maximum of 3 session that's what they are telling here okay i think this i think the test got executed the ua looks fantastic guys okay good i think uh, both the test got passed and all our tests are working fine absolutely fine but there is a problem here what is that problem okay if you notice we are using two ports one is 4444 and 4445 again if i want to run it on opera i need to open another port again this is not manageable right again i am doing all this uh, you know container upping you know uh, spinning up the container and spinning down the container manually this is something that you know uh, seems like not a good approach because we cannot do this every time right so so this doesn't good like good look like a good approach because if i if i have a 3 3000 test if i want to delegate each of them accordingly this becomes a very tough task again i cannot do something like that so we want to achieve something like this okay at the end uh, if you if you if you already know about selenium grid okay suppose consider i want to create some hub kind of thing okay this is your selenium hub okay so i will delegate to this particular guy okay i want to achieve something like this i will delegate all my test to put this particular guy Okay. Suppose I am, you know, this is exposing a four 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 six. Okay, and the container port is four 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 four. What I will do? I will just have only one URL. Okay, I will not have multiple URLs. I will just delegate to this particular guy. Okay, this particular guy will delegate to the hub. Okay, this hub will take care and try to delegate to this to this uh, Selenium as well as Firefox. Okay, so this will take care. So. our job is just to delegate to this hub that's what we are going to achieve in the next video until then you all have a very good day see you tata bye bye